how should you use your first two hours in Cedar Point uh, for the most bang for your buck? Well, today we're gonna find out. So let's go. And it looks like there are very few people on their way in right now. I'm not sure if people have been let in yet or not. I'm not sure if they let them in right at 10. If they let them in just a little bit early. But I guess we'll find out in just a few minutes. But either way, there are not very many people here yet. I see a lot of people back there. Now, early park entry is a perk that only comes with a platinum or a gold pass. So if you are either a gold or a platinum pass holder here at Cedar Point, you can get in an hour before the park opens, meaning nine o'clock rather than 10 o'clock. And you can take advantage of select rides at that point. Not everything is open. Right now, there have been very few signs of life up here at the front of the park. But now Val Raven has just started. I just saw it run. Um, which I also saw a whole bunch of people running back to it just a minute ago. Yeah, and it looks like the line is going straight into it. But partly I wanna not be tempted and just go straight back to Steel Vengeance and Maverick. But the problem with that is you're gonna waste like 15 minutes of walking time just to get back there. So you know what? I'm gonna succumb to temptation. And we're gonna hop on Valraven real fast because a bird in the hand is better than two in a bush. Yeah, looks like the line amounts to nothing. Which probably makes this one worthwhile to get into. So this line will move very, very quickly because there are no fast lane lines right now. Um, so we're taking advantage of a very, very quick line right now. And then back to Maverick and Steel Vengeance and hope that those still have some leftover goodwill for us. This has been a six minute wait for Val Raven. This line is now much longer than it was, and we are headed back either to Millennium Force or just to the Frontier Town rides right now. The problem with Millennium Force is that I know it will continue to have a pretty short line throughout the 10 o'clock hour also, uh, because everyone will rush, rush in, they'll ride the big four in the morning. Um, but, I mean, it is just very tempting because I don't want to spend that much time walking in between rides. Looks like Iron Dragon is already open this morning. The problem is there's one ride at the back I can ride. There's, of course, Millennium I could hit right now. And then I know during the 10 o'clock hour, Magnum and uh, Corkscrew over on that side of the park will be excellent options because they'll be nice and low. So I feel like I can kind of just make my round all the way around the park during this first two hours. Wait says 15 minutes this morning during early park entry. That looks about right. It is 926 right now. It is 926 right now, not even halfway through our early park entry time here at Cedar Point this morning. Here in a waste pack or cargo pocket must be left in a locker. Failure to comply may result in ejection from the park. Right, uh, As right our train comes, train it's been 11 minutes since we got in line. Let's glasses. go. Right, I've got 15 more minutes on early park entry right now. So we are going to find one more ride. And that one more ride is probably Maverick. 
I'm discovering that this floor is very slippery. So be careful or make sure that you have very track heavy shoes. My best pro tip for you if you are coming to Cedar Point for early park entry is leave as little open space between rides as you possibly can. Um, the longer you're having to walk from one point in the park to another, that's wasted time that you could be spending on another ride. So if instead you can walk, you know, 300 steps rather than a thousand steps or whatever, a <laughs> hundred steps instead of 300, um, then you're spending more time on rides and less time just walking around the park. Okay, well, it looks like we made nothing but good decisions today because Maverick is not even open yet. So I would have run back here only to not be able to ride Maverick. And you guys know the way I feel about standing in lines for rides that are not open at the moment. Now, like I said, Steel Vengeance, I'm not sure if that is open right now or not. It may not be. I can't check the app for it though. It's not. Okay, so good context clue. Look for an empty train. Okay, instead we're gonna just keep on walking around. We're gonna start hitting the rides on the other side of the park from where I just walked, which will be like Magnum, Gemini, some of those, whatever we can find that's open. Hey guys, this hey. is Hayden. <laughs> thanks for saying yeah, hi. Thanks for but what's here. your favorite ride? I know it's early park entry, yeah, so you gotta go. Done but Seal of Vengeance, yeah, we're on the way there. Awesome. Be that one. Yeah, it's not open yet, but get in line. Yeah, Have a good doing. one. Yeah, <laughs> See you guys. Which I think is where we're headed right now. I'm gonna try to hit Magnum on like a five minute wait. And then we're gonna walk back. <laughs> we're gonna walk back to Steel Vengeance and Maverick. It is such a humid day. My back is just a sheet of sweat. It's awful. All right, and here we are at Maverick. Let's go. All right, and here we are at Magnum. So currently at this very moment, I have an Instagram reel that is exploding, and that's why I said Maverick, because I'm like, just not with it because I'm seeing all of these constant uh, <laughs> constant notifications. It's gotten 32,000 in the last half hour of Millennium Force <laughs> just for the outside. And final stop. Rotators are crowd, rotators are crowd. So you go ahead and unbuckle those Here seatbelts comes the train Magnum comes to right now. They are delayed. I was afraid of that. I do not want to wait in extra lines. So you know what? We're gonna turn around. I'm not sure that there's anything that I really can do at this very moment. Honestly, if you're gonna stand in line for something, right now is the time to do that. Um, because you might as well do it when it's really busy like this. Um, or because you might as well do it while all the rides are closed for a little bit of rain. Like it literally just drizzled. <laughs> That's all it was. Nope, they're closed. But lucky for me, if everything's closed, it's pretty hard to, uh, it's pretty hard to waste your time. As far as I saw on the weather app, it was not supposed to rain today. But like I've said before, it's the Midwest, it's the Great Lakes area. Just because your weather app says something doesn't necessarily make it true. I mean, that's good, that's probably true for everywhere. But especially <laughs> here in the Great Lakes area. So, instead, yes, there is a lot of weather that you can possibly end up having that you really wouldn't want. Just be prepared for it. We're gonna grab a drink of water right now. Real fast here. At this point, I am just walking until I find something that's open. Quite honestly, 
I'm getting pretty annoyed because nothing is open. It hasn't rained in a good 15 minutes. And even when it did, it was like a tiny little spit. Obviously, there's probably some sort of inclement, inclement weather within a mile or two or something like that within close enough of a distance or even a lightning strike within close enough of a distance that they were like, no, we have to, we have to shut down. And I understand that. I also am a defender of Cedar Point because of that kind of stuff because they really are very, very careful with our safety. And I, for one, appreciate that. But <laughs> sometimes I just want to be able to ride a ride and I go, why is nothing open? It does look like possibly Corkscrew is running. There are people in the, in the train. So we're gonna see if we can hop on here or not. It does look like it. All right. Well, like I said, it's time just to walk around and see what we can find that could potentially be a place where we could get onto another ride. We'll save our two big lines for the end of the day. Um, I only have five hours here today, but thinking, given the start that we've had, even despite some rain, there's a good chance we might be able to get a lot of rides done in five hours. Possibly, dare I say, all of them? I don't know, we've had a good start. So let's see what happens, let's go. All right. Now this is the kind of weight that I want to have to go on the corkscrew. All right, 1028, here's our train right now. All right, so I am seeing a five minute wait for Gatekeeper right now and a 30 minute wait for Raptor. Probably because the majority of people when they came in, it was raining, they walked toward the back of the park. They actually skipped over the rides at the front during this 10 o'clock hour. Well, this is a pretty short wait. I'm not sure that it's five minutes, but maybe 10 or 15. And either way, I can live with that. I was the last one not sent on the expansion of the line but they are expanding the line right now. And we are on the next one. It's coming right now. All right, so 16 minute wait right here. Let's go. I can see that the line is much, much bigger from up in the air and it was actually going all the way out onto the main walkway. So we chose a good time for Gatekeeper and now it's time to go possibly try to hit Raptor. But we'll see what it's been like now. Things are definitely changing uh, based on crowd levels here. It's been pretty rapid in the last couple of minutes. That's why Gatekeeper went from being a pretty short line when I got into it to being probably 45 minutes now. Wow, so Raptor only says a 15 minute wait. We're going to hit Raptor as long as it's not a much longer line. If this is an accurate thing, 15 minutes is nothing to wait for Raptor at this time of the day. MVNU, that's where my brother Hatless Spider went to college. Okay. So the app says 15 minutes here, it says an hour and a quarter. We'll go take a look. I also really have disdain for when, yeah, for when the app is that wildly off. When it says 15 minutes on the app and an hour and 15 minutes not on the app, that's annoying. All right, so we are headed off to Blue Streak right now, right beyond this big green monster. We're gonna hit as many roller coasters as we possibly can today. We got a good start this morning and then the rain held us back for just a minute. We can always just keep going. Oh, but it looks like Blue Streak is closed. 
All right, well, it looks like we're headed over to Iron Dragon right now, just simply because it's open. Um, it does look like closures are the name of the game right now. Um, Gemini is closed. Blue Streak is closed. Um, there was one more that was closed also. Oh, Rougarou is closed. So we're not even going to get to hit that in a pairing with Iron Dragon like we usually would. But we definitely made hay on this ride. That has a probably an hour and 15 minute wait. Once we get to the back of the park, we'll see about some food and uh, possibly eat in the line for Maverick or Steel Vengeance. Maybe even get a drink, because I'm really feeling a hard cider. So either way though, we keep moving, we keep having fun. There are no bad days here at Cedar Point. <laughs> All right, you want to say hi? hi. <laughs> what's your name? Dimitri. Dimitri. Hey, it's nice to meet you. Thank you for saying hi. Uh, what's your favorite ride here at Cedar Point? Iron Dragon. Iron Dragon? I'm not really a big fan of like the big rides. Okay, awesome. Iron Dragon's a great ride. I used to love that ride. I'm actually headed to it right now, so <laughs> you have a good one. Thanks for saying hi. Second time, so a lot of anxiety here. That was All right, 15 minutes. It was nice to meet Dimitri. He's right over there with his family too. His mom was like, you know him? <laughs> and he was like, I watched his YouTube video. Mmm, <laughs> back the road today. Let's do it. It has been 11 minutes right now. It looks like probably about 12 minutes by the time I get onto this coming train right here. All right, Tyler. So this is Tyler. Thanks for saying hi. Of course. What's your favorite ride here at Cedar Point? Gotta I'm trying to ride all of them. Millennium? Go Millennium I, it's a classic. Yeah. I, it's the same thing with me when I was a kid. Yeah. Well, I mean now, actually, but it, it yeah. harkens back to me being a kid, you yeah. know? Oh, yeah. I've been coming here since 2000, <laughs> man. And that's awesome. my favorite ever since. Uh, that's perfect, then. Right <laughs> you oh, have a great one. Yeah. Nice to see you, too. Nice to meet Tyler here. I was practicing for an Instagram reel. I'm going to be doing right down here in just a few minutes. If you haven't yet, uh, you should definitely go check out the Not Your Normal G1 Instagram. Uh, we're having some fun there. and Actually, just today, things have kind of exploded. Follow there on Instagram. Uh, we're also going to be doing an Instagram Decides My Day, so uh, despite just so besides just the fun that we're having on Instagram, we're also having some uh, fun stuff that we're going to be doing that's going to affect the channel also. So uh, check it out. Oh, I see why this was closed for so long. They've done some restructuring of this. That's cool. All right, it is time to go into the farmhouse kitchen grill for a nice little meal today right at noon. As much as I would like to ride as many rides as I possibly can today, I'm not sure that I care at all to stand in any hour and 15 minute lines um, <laughs> or longer than that, as the case may be like with Steel Vengeance. So we may call this the end of the day, but then go see a couple of shows um, as, the, as the day continues. Mm. Mm. That's the best they've made those potatoes ever. Oh my word, that's so good. Maybe we'll re-ride a couple of rides. We'll see what happens. Okay, we've got Cedar Creek Mine Ride and Gemini both open at this point in the day. Um, they've been closed. So we're gonna try to hit those. Uh, we'll hit everything except for two of the biggest rides and possibly we'll try to hit Raptor also. <clears throat> uh, we just won't hit the two big ones back here, Steel Vengeance and Maverick. But like I said, if you were here all day, which I am not today, you could easily hit those without any problem at all. Um, even if they're both two hour waits. It's a 60 minute wait, I'm sure that's right. No, there's, there's absolutely no way that's right. Like, not even close.
At this time, please unfasten your seatbelt. Once your lap bar has... Especially if this side is closed, then grab food here, um, or at least eat over here. You, like, no one is here, so if you want a quiet meal for lunch, that's a great place to come and uh, take your food. And it's covered and everything, but nobody's there because that entrance or exit is closed right now. Well, Gemini is down right now. But I'm feeling like a hard cider. So we're going to come in here and grab one. And we've got it. Target acquired. You know what? Everything is closed that I want to do. So I think I am going to watch just a few minutes of Lusty Lil's while I drink this before I head over to uh, Come See About Me. Lusty Lil's is at 1 o'clock and Come See About Me is at 1.30. Sometimes a hard cider is just what you need. These ones are so sweet too. I mean, usually I'm not like a huge fan of like really, really sweet stuff, especially when it's alcoholic, but it's so good. <laughs> that I can uh, go see a little bit, well, see the whole thing of Come See About Me, which is going to come up in about 10 minutes. So I think probably going to see shows was my best option for the day, um, for, you know, this part of the day, rather than trying to ride everything. Um, there are so many things that have been down anyway, so maybe there's just been some weather that's like I've said before, it's kind of been on the outskirts. It's very possible. Uh, either way, it doesn't really make a whole lot of difference to me now. <laughs> so, let's go. This has me feeling in that very relaxed state. And uh, I love that about this hard cider. Hard cider also, it's not so, not so packed with alcohol that it's gonna like make it difficult for me to um, for me to leave here when I when it's time for me to go. Even then, even on the hottest days, I have not seen big lines for the water rides at all. It's crazy how few big lines for water rides there have been. These people in front of me though, they look cold. Their western rendition of Hotel California in this part of the park slaps such a lovely place the room at the hotel california something that a lot of people like to do here at cedar point ever since even i was a kid is the sign maker these wooden signs that they will make right in front of you so if you would like a personalized sign straight from cedar point that is something definitely that they do here that's a little bit different than many theme parks that I've seen. More personalized, definitely a fun thing to do. Cedar Point is an absolutely huge park. Um, so going from the front of the park to the back of the park, you need to plan a good 10 or maybe even 15 minutes. It is very different than like Kings Island, because at Kings Island it's just a pretty compact circle. Um, here you have so much more than that. You have a circle, at the back of the circle there lies another circle, and at the front of the circle, 
you have a large midway that takes you all the way to the front. So to get from Frontier Town, where I just was, all the way back um, up to the front to go see, come see about me, is no small feat. So you do definitely need to plan quite a bit of walking to do um, for that. And you need to plan some time. So instead of leaving with only 10 minutes to spare, I know that the doors open 10 minutes before the show starts. So I planned 20 minutes to be able to walk all the way up here. You need to plan that time so that you have plenty of time to get where you need to go. Even leaving when I left, I'm still, <laughs> I've got six minutes to get there right now. So like I said, I, like I haven't stopped any place, I haven't taken any breaks, I haven't gone to get water, nothing. And I still only have six minutes when I left with 20, which means it takes more than 15 minutes to get from one end of this park to the other. It's a little bit less navigable as far as like easily navigable than say Kings Island or Carowinds. But now just recently I rode the Sky Ride and when I rode the Skyline I saw a maybe grandmother and daughter pair um, who rode onto it and they expected that they could come all the way around. There are signs posted that you cannot just make a full rotation on them. You do have to get off, you have to get back on. The daughter was very upset that she had to get off. That's what the signs say, it's what you need to know. But since I saw that, I thought, well, obviously there are people who definitely do not understand that. Um, so it's something that I think probably needs to be discussed just a little bit more than it is. So that's why I'm bringing it up right now. I do only have three minutes to get there right now. My gait has definitely gotten faster as I've been <laughs> going. And you'll notice that with me, faster means bouncier. I've always bounced when I walked, ever since I was a kid. Something I actively fight against, but... <laughs> it's gonna happen, especially if I walk fast. I'm hoping I can just barely get there. And this will be the very last thing that we do for the day because I'm headed home right after this. So we've got a nice, you know, 30 minute show that we're gonna get to watch on our way. Oh man, I made it. Not without being exhausted though. Well, usually they start right on time, but here it is four minutes after time to start. If I would've known this was gonna happen though, I wouldn't have run so hard <laughs> to have gotten here. And with that, thank you guys so much for joining me today here at Cedar Point. Nothing makes me happier than that show. <laughs> I just, I love that show so much. It's such a great one. Uh, but thank you guys so much for joining me. Thanks for coming along this season all together. We still have so much more coming, but definitely press that subscribe button so that you can be in on it as it happens. Make sure that icon is on too uh, for the bell. And uh, let's go.